What is up guys, it is me Nathan Games YT here and today we are doing part 2 of my series on getting my first web box on my singing monster steam. Today we're starting off the day with getting some free diamonds from the daily login bonus which is a really good thing that you should be doing if you don't already. Make sure to log on to the game every single day because if you log on to day 10 you can get 25 free diamonds or if you don't have that time every single day just log in 3 days in a row to try to get this plus three free diamonds like I'm getting today because it can be extremely useful. But let's go ahead and collect all my coins. If you guys are enjoying this series, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, let's spin the wheel. Let's see what we can get. Imagine I just get a really good prize right away. Come on, please. Okay, that's pretty bad. That's just 6,000 coins. Well, okay. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be buying Mirror Plant Island. If you watched yesterday's video, um, I talked about how that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to get Mirror Plant Island so that I can increase my coins per day by getting a whole new Ent Rat Farm. Oh, what's this limited sale? Natural Path, 50% off natural. Oh, that's pretty useful. Although, it would be even more useful as if, it, if it was a Mirror Island sale. That would be way better for me, especially with this today's video where we're literally buying a Mirror Island. So let's make sure to collect for my mini mines. That's an extremely useful thing to do every single day. Make sure you don't forget to. And wait, when does the breeding bonanza end? I think it literally ends in three minutes. So I think we should hurry up really quick, try and get some ethereal. If you guys want to light my torches, my friend code is right here. And this is a Steam account, so you will need to be on Steam if you want to add it. Okay, let's head to the breeding structure and see what we can do. Attempt number one is a fail. And wait, the breeding bonanza is already over. Oh, it's already over. Come on. I thought they made promotions last until 3 p.m. Did they change it? I don't know. Well, Let's just try again, I guess, because I have a full beds on here. I don't even have room for more Deej if I wanted to, so that's pretty much the only thing I can try to get right now so that I can eventually expand my Ethereal Island. Maybe that'll be my next goal. And also, we have all these rocks, and I already collected the trees this morning before school when I logged on to the game. Um, and thank you. You guys told me that I had a rock that I missed over here. I missed it. But thanks to you guys, I was able to get it so that I didn't have to wait even more time. So thank you to everybody who commented down below about that. Let's sell this pom pom because I don't need it. Let's put that pom pom in there and let's see if we can get an ethereal over here. My ethereal luck is not great on this account. Yep, as you can see, no ethereal. But let's get better luck on Water Island, maybe. I don't know. Let's do this. And I don't even have a shell bead on here. Never mind then. Oh yeah, this is the this is the um, island where I don't even have a quad, and I was trying to get a quad by doing something dumb, where I just do fog and dandy do because those make up the four elements. But that's not how you want to be making uh, quad element monsters. You want to be doing a three element and then the remaining one element. So let's let's get a three element first. Dandy do and toad jammer. Sure, dandy do and toad jammer. Okay, that's a dandy do. That's unfortunate. Better luck next time, I guess. On Earth Island, we only get 1,000 coins, but let's collect that diamond. That pom pom is still in there. I do not need that Cybop, uh, but I don't have anything to teleport it to either. Let's see what we got going on in Firehaven. Collect all these coins and that diamond. Thanks for everybody who lit the torches on Firehaven. I appreciate that. We got a Flugel here, which is a three element, right? It's a three element? Yeah. So we can try to get a... Tr oh, my bed's full. Never mind. We cannot try to get a train yet. Three million coins. Is it worth it? I think it's worth it. I think we're gonna do it. Yeah, let's let's get this castle upgrade And that's gonna take 18 hours So once that happens we can go ahead and do that and while we wait though Even though they don't sell for as much as they used to I'm still gonna get a three element monster on here so that I can not waste time While this is going it's not like I could be using a breeding structure to get a four element because this three elements still in there But what I can do is take those hours and get a three element because that's just going to be a little bit of extra coins and those little ways of getting coins is what we're going to need to get to this 75 million requirement for this well box imagine if some point during this series well box just goes on like a 50 percent off sale and i'm able to get it way before i'm supposed to that would be pretty cool oh my beds on here are full too how much is that going to cost one million oh it's so expensive i'm not going to buy that one let me know in the comments if you think i should buy it we don't have a light island I do have Psychic Island though, which my beds are full here too. Should I upgrade my castle on here? How much would it cost? 10 million? Oh my gosh. That is a lot of money for a castle upgrade. Someone's still in there, so we can't use the breeding structure on here today. My beds are also full on Fairy Island. Guys, I don't know how I'm going to be able to get well boxes. It seems like these castle upgrades are going to be taking all my money. Almost 2 million for the first castle upgrade. 
Yeah, that's not worth it. I'm not gonna buy that. All right, well, now that we've collected and bred monsters and hatched monsters and all that things for today, what we can do next is the main part of the video, where we buy Mirror Plant Island. Let's go ahead and buy it. 100 diamonds is about to be spent. There we go. All right, 100 diamonds has been spent. I don't know if that's worth it. It might not be, but long term, I think it will be. And also, it's just a fun little thing to do for this series. The first thing I'm going to do is clear out all these trees. I'm going to do a time lapse. If you see me miss any, comment it down below. Alright, that's it for those obstacles. If you see anything that I missed, please let me know. Alright, let's go check out this castle upgrade. Only 500. That's what I like about upgrading castles on this island. On the natural islands, especially over the fire islands and magical islands. Is there so cheap? Look at that. Only 500 and only like 15 seconds. Super easy. Let's do a scratch ticket. See if we can get... Alright, a fur corn. That's actually... Wait, that's actually really good actually. Because I would have had to get the breeding structure and make a two element monster. But now I can just go straight to three elements and start this hemp rat farm super quick. Wow, Furkhorn. It's funny that our first monster is not a one element. Alright, let's collect some of these XP though from these trees that are already done. It's satisfying how fast those little trees break. Especially since if you miss one of them when you're clearing out your obstacles, it's not such a big deal. Because it only takes a few seconds to be done. But let's collect that castle upgrade let's upgrade it again this one's going to take an hour so we're not going to be able to get that in today's video but maybe tomorrow's or i don't know if there's going to be one tomorrow but the next episode for sure all right so we have a fork horn let's get a toe jammer so that i can breed it with that to get a three element monster wait toe jammer doesn't have water in it right it has slant and cold all right yeah we're good so in 49 seconds i guess we're going to be able to do that while i wait i'm going to buy wishing torches All right, it looks like this toe jammer is about to finish up in the nursery, and that's perfect timing because this is the last wishing torch that I need to buy. Let's get that toe jammer, place it down in the island, and feed it to level four. Now we got toe jammer and fur corn. Nice. The song is becoming more monsters on it. That made no sense, but yeah. Let's head to the breeding structure. Fur corn and toe jammer. Please don't be a fur corn or a toe jammer. Okay, good. That's Bogart, I think, right? Yeah, I think that's Bogart that we got. Let's go check. Yeah, that's Bogart. All right, nice. So I know we just cleared some obstacles, but I just remember that I need to clear obstacles on my air island as well and water. Oh, wait, no, I don't need to actually. I need to on my water island. Never mind. I actually am not going to do that because one big rock costs 100,000. Actually, everything else is pretty cheap. Yeah, I am going to actually, I, I'm going to do it. We're starting off at 37.7 million. Let's see how many we're at after. Alright, and I think that's the last one, but once again, if I miss something, please let me know. That ended up costing almost 2 million coins. Was that worth it? I don't know. I I mean, I don't really know, because I don't even have that much bed space on here. I think since I did that, I kind of need to buy a castle upgrade now. Should I buy a castle upgrade now? Um, I don't know. I think we're going to wait until... I have at least like two shell beats and then I'm gonna buy one. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so since that was so expensive, I don't think I'm gonna be clearing obstacles on Earth Island today, but I am gonna be buying wishing torches on Earth Island. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's the 10th torch. But the last thing we're gonna do today is head to the memory game. I don't like the memory game, but let's just go through it because we can get a free diamond from it. And I've heard that someone commented on the video yesterday that the most you can get from the memory game is one diamond. So once you get one diamond, you should just fail on purpose in the mini game and just collect your diamonds. I don't know if that's true, but we're going to test it out right now. Never mind. I cannot seem to get a diamond, and I don't want to finish this game. I'm just going to exit, and that's what we got. Not bad, I guess. Well, anyway, I think that's pretty much going to wrap it up for the video. But if you want to see more of this series, make sure to comment down below and let me know. 
And yeah, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.